uh, here we are going to continue our discussion on simple harmonic motion and we are going to arrive at some very very important uh, significant concepts or conclusions about simple harmonic motion. So stay with me uh, while we go through this very simple but very interesting discussion on what simple harmonic motion is all about. We discussed uh, some of the things about simple harmonic motion that it is periodic in nature, it is an oscillatory motion, it must follow sine or cosine function and the amplitude has to be constant. So these are some of the features of simple harmonic motion. In this video we will look at simple harmonic motion as a projection of uniform circular motion. So what is that? Let us say we have an object performing simple harm, uh, uniform circular motion. Let us say this is, this is circular motion and let us say there is an object which is performing uniform circular motion and its velocity is uh, say angular velocity is equal to omega. So it's moving with a constant angular velocity omega on this. So let us say it's initially at this location. Let us call this location say for example A. Let us call this center as O. So at time t equal to 0 it is at say location A and then it performs circular motion. The idea over here is to first of all focus on the projection of this particular particle or this particular object on the diameter. So let us say this is the diameter that we are looking at. A circle has number of diameters. In this case we are looking at diameter B, B dash for example. Now let us try to find out the projection of this object on this diameter while it is performing circular motion. When it is at this location the projection is at point A. When it reaches over here, the projection will come over here. When it reaches over here, the projection will probably come over here. And when it reaches here, the projection is at the same location. So when it is performed quarter motion, quarter circular motion, then the projection has moved from location O to location D. Let's move further. Let us say it reaches over here, the projection comes over here. When it reaches over here, the projection will come over here. When it reaches here, the projection comes over here. So what we have observed is, while this object performed half circular motion or, or completed half the circumference of this motion, the particle, the projection of the particle moved from O to B and back to O. In the same way, when it comes over here, projection is here, when it comes over here, projection is here and then finally over here. And I can continue the same way, when it reaches over here, projection here, here and then back over here. I am sure you have observed that when the object which is performing uniform circular motion completes one complete rotation. The projection completes one oscillation. It starts from here, goes over here, comes back over here, then starts moving in this direction and then it goes back over here. So if I focus my attention on the motion of the projection, I see it is performing simple harmonic motion. The reason is because it is oscillatory in nature and as you can see the amplitude is constant from the effect. Look at this as the mean position. It has moved through this radius and which is the maximum displacement and on this side it has moved to this radius which is going to be same for a circle. So its amplitude is same, the angular velocity is same throughout the time that it takes is going to same because the angular velocity is same. And hence we say that the performance or the motion of the projection of a particle which is performing uniform circular motion is an example of simple harmonic motion. Let us say this radius of this circle is a. I am using the letter A because uh, it represents amplitude. So I am sure now you have got an idea about what simple harmonic motion is or you have got an idea about that this is an example of simple harmonic motion. So this could be one definition of simple harmonic motion that the motion performed by a projection of a particle performing uniform circular motion is simple harmonic motion. Okay, so let's move ahead. Let us say at time t equal to 0 it is at location A and let us say after some time t it moves to location, this location, let us call this location say P. So it has moved to location A and in the process it has turned through an angle say theta. So initial position A, final position P, not final position but after some time it has reached this location P and in the process it has turned through angle theta. So this would be the projection of this particular point. Let us call say, this P dash and let me draw a line like this and let me complete a triangle like this and let us call this as P double dash for example. <coughs> so when the object has moved from this location to this location the displacement along the y-axis 
displacement of the projection along the y axis which we can call as y is op dash op dash now if i take sine of this angle theta sine theta with that will be equal to p p double dash opposite side upon hypotenuse and this is radius a so i can write over here small a therefore p p dash P P dash will be equal to O P dash, which will be equal to Y. P P dash will be equal to O P dash, which will be equal to Y. P P dash is equal to A into sine theta. Therefore, I will write Y is equal to A sine theta, because P P dash is equal to O P is equal to Y. One more thing: angular velocity omega is theta by t, angular displacement by t. Therefore, theta is equal to omega t, and therefore I can rewrite this equation as Y is equal to A sine omega t and this is the fundamental of the most basic equation of simple harmonic motion y is equal to a sin omega t this is the equation for displacement of this particle along the along this particular uh, diameter of the circle or in other words this is the equation for the motion of the projection and that's very important to remember it this this, this does not necessarily represent the motion of this object along the uniform circular mark it represents the motion of the projection which is simple harmonic motion and therefore this is the equation for simple harmonic motion so this is displacement now if i want to find out velocity of this object or the velocity of the simple harmonic motion v i know is dy by dt therefore that will be equal to d by dt of y is a sin theta so a sin theta and d by dt of a sin theta will be d by t of a sin omega t because theta is omega t and if i differentiate a sin omega t with reference to t i'm sure you understand that we'll get our a into omega into cos omega t because differentiation of sin is cos so cos omega t and, and for omega we'll get for omega t we'll get omega over here and this will be equal to a omega cos omega t okay Uh, let me do a small calculation over here i know that y is equal to a sin omega t now cos omega t is equal to square root of 1 minus sin square omega t is equal to 1 minus sin square omega t sin omega t is y by a so y square by a square and that could be written as a square minus a square upon a square and this could be written as 1 upon a into square root of a square minus y square okay so i come back over here and write it a omega cos omega t is 1 by a into square root of a square minus y square a a gets cancelled therefore i get the equation for velocity as omega into a square minus y square so i'm sure you are getting to what we're doing we here we found out displacement in terms of amplitude and angular velocity here again we have found out velocity in terms of angular velocity and amplitude so if i know the amplitude and of the motion and if i know the angular velocity i am able to find out the displacement and velocity of this uh, simple harmonic motion so this is equation number 2 uh, finally acceleration we know is dv by dt so i already know what is v v is a omega cos omega t so i can write down d by dt of cos a omega cos omega t this is a over here cos omega t right so acceleration right or i will use the symbol alpha right let me let me write this over again alpha because otherwise you will get confused between this a which is amplitude and acceleration so alpha is equal to d by dt of a omega cos omega t and this will give me differentiation of a omega cos omega t will give me a omega because that's outside this for omega t i'll get and one more omega so omega into differentiation of cos is sin omega t so i'll get a omega square sin omega t is equal to a omega square now sin omega t sin omega t is y by a so i can write over here y by a a a gets cancelled and of course i have should i made a mistake over here 
differentiation of cos omega t is minus sin omega t. So I will have a minus sin over here. Minus. So it will, this will give me minus omega square y. And therefore alpha is equal to minus omega square y. And uh, this is another very very important uh, equation for simple harmonic motion and if you try to interpret or analyze this equation what we see is that the acceleration is directly proportional to displacement because omega the uniform angular velocity is constant for this motion so I can write down over here alpha is directly proportional to is proportional to minus y and this defines simple harmonic motion in simple harmonic motion in simple harmonic motion the acceleration of this particle, the acceleration of this particle which is performing simple harmonic motion is proportional to y but is in the opposite direction because of this minus sign indicates opposite direction. So if the, if the displacement is on the positive side, if this is taken as positive and this is taken as negative, if the displacement of the object is on the positive side, the acceleration is in the opposite direction and if the displacement is on the negative side, the the acceleration is in opposite direction. So the direction of acceleration and displacement are always opposite but as far as the magnitude is concerned it is directly proportional to the displacement. This is uh, one of the most basic uh, features or characteristics of simple harmonic motion and uh, in the topics that we are going to come we are going to discuss in simple harmonic motion we will look at this more closely. Right. With this, I have come to the end of this video. Uh, there are a few things associated with this discussion which I will be doing uh, in the next video. Thank you.